Hey guys, how's it going? John here, another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a intercooler install on my Fiesta. So I actually have the Whoosh V3 intercooler. So a, uh, a big intercooler for this car. Um, this thing is supposedly good for around 335, I want to say, wheel horsepower. It's about 65% bigger than the factory intercooler. Now, uh, this inter intercooler runs about 400 bucks, so it's not cheap. Um, if you use the FIS 5 code with Wush, you can get it for 380. Um, shipping's free, so uh, a little pricier than what I wanted to spend. I was trying to find used ones, but I was impatient. I just said, screw it, I'll just buy a new one. So that's what I did. Um, and it's about to get hot and sweaty in here because there's no airflow and it is 90 degrees out and humid. So uh, it's gonna get pretty nasty. I'm gonna be drenched in sweat here. Uh, but yeah, so the simple process, simple, is uh, take the headlights off and then take the bumper off. Uh, easier said than done, as I've learned on this car. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dive right into it and uh, get this thing tore apart, get this thing on and uh, see how it goes. All right, excuse how sweaty I am. Um, bumper's off. There she is. So now it's just time to get the intercooler taken off and get the new one put on. And it's gonna get even more disgusting. Okay, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison. So they're about the same height, but the thickness is where the real difference is. Uh, so yep, time to get this bad boy on and uh, get it all back together. So the intercooler is on, clamp. 
clamps are all tightened up. Looks really good. Definitely a tight squeeze. I actually, these were screwed in before. They had a, uh, a little piece like this, but I took it off and then just zip tied them together because this piece is actually scraping the coating off of the intercooler because this is a silver coated intercooler. Uh, well, not silver, but like the color silver. Um, so, yeah, I took that off because I didn't want it beating up on, and rubbing against the intercooler. I like it with zip ties much more. Not sure if it was supposed to be that way, but that's what I did. Okay, so I got the bumper pretty much on, although for being a direct fit, this bumper rubs really bad. So I'm gonna get the Dremel out and just cut this section out on each side just to just to help uh, you know keep that from rubbing on the fins there. All right, guys. So I got the uh, bumper trimmed up on everything. Uh, cuts are kind of ugly. I just did it fast so I could get the car back together so I could drive it the next day because it's my daily driver. Um, but overall, it's uh, and it came out pretty decent. I uh, did opt to use the. Uh, factory grill for the uh, intercooler I have it off right now just so you can see but uh I mean it looks really nice and honestly I probably don't even need to like worry about making it clean because it's so hard to notice unless you're looking super close um, but I also do like the idea of protecting this expensive and big intercooler uh, but it looks really good at fit wise I was a little disappointed that it wasn't as direct fit as I thought it was going to be I, I don't know how I could have gotten it any better I, I was trying for a while to get it to go back further and I just couldn't get it but good quality product um, you know I like buying stuff from Ron at Woosh he knows what he's doing and uh, yeah so the big difference uh, afterwards was on a stage one tune with stock intercooler I was seeing over 30 degrees higher above uh, exterior or well, outside temperatures on like a pretty prolonged pull and uh with the and it's hot right now too so it's you know 90 plus most days here and super humid uh with the v3 on a stage two from dizzy i'm seeing about less than 10 degrees higher on a prolonged uh you know multi gear pull so totally worth it um in that regard so uh that's really it for today guys uh thanks so much for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you guys later peace